J'ai découvert l'art comme je le dis comme un aveugle découvre la vie. L'art est politique. Sans art, il n'y a pas d'homme libre. His name is synonymous with artistic resistance. For half a century, Usman Samben has established himself as the most prolific writer and filmmaker in Africa. Samben's urge to write and later to make movies has inspired several generations of African artists and a Senegalese public always eager to see the latest Samben picture. <laughs> Bon, merci d'être venu. Et c'est pour moi toujours un plaisir de montrer à mon peuple le travail que je fais. In Molade, his last masterpiece, where women of a small village in Burkina Faso rebel against female genital mutilation, Samben believed his quest for a true language for African cinema had been achieved. The film's simple and disturbing tale is a rousing political account sharply critical of traditional forms of authority. It is the last of the nine feature films Zamben made before he died at the age of 84 in June 2007. A new vision not seen in film before emerges in each of his creations. He is the true father of African cinema. Born in 1923, his career began when he was 40. He wrote novels before making films. The books which he later turned into films are taught in schools and colleges all over Africa and around the world. <laughs> when the writer embraced the film to reach larger segments of people, the success of his work is marked by the force of his storytelling. In the many order, Emitai, Khala, Chedjo, Kande Charoy. Vous insultez des soldats qui ont été de toutes les batailles. Ils étaient de la première armée de la France libre. Où étiez-vous en 1940? He took on issues facing the common man with the same intensity and sense of mission. Praised at home and abroad, his enormous legacy is a statement of pioneering achievement. He showed how Africans can tell their story on celluloid and in the process, define the language to follow. Yeah. Une rupture entre l'Afrique de mon enfance et la nouvelle Afrique qui est en train de naître.